What's going on guys, Damon here, and today I want to break down how to make uh, a short form video content with AI from end to end. So, I've been working on this for a couple months now, I dropped a couple articles on various platforms, various uh, tools to use to help in the you know short form video process. So this is going to be more of an integration, uh, you know, piece all four things together. So. Uh, first and foremost, you're going to need four different uh, platforms in order to make this work. In total, I think this costs about $100 a month. So you're going to need uh, G GPT-4. Uh, you're going to need HeyGen. That's this platform. You're going to need, that's for custom video in this case, um, creating an AI video avatar yourself. Next, you are going to need Eleven Labs. Eleven Labs is used for, uh, you know, custom audio in this case. And lastly, you're going to need this app. It's called Captions. So, uh, realistically, the hardest part about this is creating a um, a custom GPT for yourself that's actually good. That's the rest of it. Honestly, pretty straightforward. This part, there's a little bit more legroom to this because like we know with any form of copy, any form of content um, that's related to AI, a lot of it comes down to, you know, the inputs inside of it. So let me break down how I created this custom GPT for myself. So if we go to this. Basically, what I did to make this custom GPT, I, I've been doing daily content on Facebook for over two years now. Um, so I have probably close to a thousand posts in here in this Google Doc. Um, so I, I've got a lot of content to draw off of, basically. Um, so I basically took my Google Doc for all my daily content for the last couple of years, and I uploaded it into the knowledge base. Now the knowledge base is what your custom GPT is gonna use to draw on information. So the information inside that those posts, that's where it's going to, uh, that's where it's gonna draw from. Next, we have our instructions. So I have this set up to write Twitter threads. Um, not IG reels, not short form content, but in this case, uh, you know, I'm prioritizing growing on Twitter over these coming months. So I have it set up to write Twitter threads. Um, in terms of this, I, I would recommend in your instructions creating a brand voice for yourself. So the way I took this brand voice was I actually uploaded this doc down here into ChatGPT and asked it to analyze the brand voice. So this is uh, this is pretty objective. I didn't like create this to describe myself. This is what ChatGPT said based on those posts is my kind of brand voice in this case. And then lastly, just a couple like personal preferences. You know, I, I hate emojis. I don't like hashtags. I don't really use that in any of my content on Twitter. Um, so yeah, there's that. So if I'm going to make a post for myself, um, you know, a common thing that I'll do for a lot of my fractional CMO deals is I'll manage like a setter team. So can you create a post breaking down how to manage a setter team? So let's see what this comes up with. Um, in the meantime, let me show you this. So creating the custom avatar on HeyGen, super simple. Honestly, this is a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, you just go to new video avatars um, and then follow the direction for instant avatar in this case. So I will show you the one that I have myself. I have, I have a couple ones here. One thing to keep in mind, make sure you get, make sure you get like a good setting to use. For example, you can't really see this in this case, but I have like a nice DSLR camera that I used for, uh, you know, for it. In addition to that, I have a ring light to make sure the lighting is good. That's one thing you'll probably notice on this one. I didn't have good lighting here, so I ended up redoing it for this one here. And, uh, you know, the mic for the audio also good to have. So here is what this looks like. Hey, Damon McKay, your instant avatar is ready. Feel free to create videos with it. Also, click the feedback button to share what you think. Hope you enjoy.
Okay, so I personally am very happy with the video in this case. I think the video is, um, it's not perfect. I think it's a little robotic. Uh, that being said though, I think the video is pretty good. The audio, the audio is not very good in my opinion. I don't like Hey Jen's audio. Hopefully they fix that. So that is why you use 11 labs for the audio. Um, 11 labs, it, it's scary. Honestly, it's pretty scary how good this thing is. This company's raised like a hundred million dollars pretty recently. Um, they specialize specifically in AI audio. Um, so yeah, very, very good products. I'm happy, very happy with 11 labs. Um, make sure you create, I, I forget how to do this, but make sure you create a professional account for yourself. So inside 11 labs, you're going to need to upload about 30, 30 plus minutes of audio of yourself. You know, something I did, if I'm doing a copy review, for example, for a copywriter, I'll sit there and I'll just riff, you know, tear apart a piece of copy for 30, 40 minutes or so. That's kind of perfect. You know, take that, do something of that sort, upload it into 11 labs, and it's going to spit out audio that's honestly, you will be scared how good this thing is. Um, and then, all right, we got captions. So let's go back to this. So I am going to take, this is a little bit long for my taste personally. You got to edit this a little bit. You know, sometimes keep in mind, this is set for Twitter threads, not for IG reels, but so I'm going to take this, paste this into Hey Jen. Uh, I recommend using la landscape rather than portrait. A lot of times portrait, it comes out like really zoomed in. Uh, select your avatar. Now we are going to upload here. And you gotta make sure you edit this a little bit. You know, it's like if, okay, for example, if I left this one, in here, like the one, the two, the three, the dashes, it will, it will say that, you know, it's going to actively say the ones, which you don't want that. So make sure you edit that. Also numbers. Um, if you use big numbers in this case, a lot of times, Hey Jen has an issue with it. If you say like a million, a lot of times it'll say a hundred thousand hundred or something like that. That just doesn't really make sense. So try to avoid using numbers, or if you're going to use them, write it out in text form. Okay. Yeah, this is a little bit long, longer than my, I'd like it to be. So we're going to click submit. And uh, I'm, I'm just going to pause the video for a second here because normally it takes, uh, it depends on how long of a script it is. If you're just doing like a 30 second IG reel, which I think this is kind of the sweet spot for that. I'm still trying to figure out a long form solution. But if you're just doing like a 30 second IG reel, it might take two or three minutes, something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this video for now. Okay, we are back. So. Yeah, I think that probably took a little bit longer than that, probably like 10 minutes there. So here's the final product through HeyGen. So I probably would not use this for an IG reel at uh, just over 90 seconds. We're running a little bit long there, but here's what we got. Leading a setter team effectively is crucial in high stakes sales environments. Start by understanding that a setter's role is to qualify prospects for closers. They are your front line in generating viable leads. Recruit setters who not only possess strong communication skills, but are also resilient and quick learners. The nature of their job requires a thick skin and an agile mind to adapt scripts and approaches on the fly. Training cannot be overstated. Regular training sessions are essential for refreshing product knowledge and sales tactics. This keeps your team sharp and ahead of market changes. Equip your team with the best tools from CRM software to data analytics. Okay, so from here, what we're gonna do 
is we're going to download the video and then we're going to upload it into captions. So I'm not going to do that right now because the main reason for that, I, I didn't think about this earlier, but I believe captions has a time limit on it. So I think like a one minute and 39 second video, I don't think that is, it needs to be shorter in order to do this on the plan that I have. But basically from there, you upload the video from this, just throw it in there and it actually just spits out, spits right out. You don't really have to do much of anything. So I'm gonna give you an example here. So I used this exact same process for this earlier this week. This is a shorter, you know, 37 second one. Uh, for a post I did. I believe that AGI is the nuclear bomb equivalent of our generation. Sam Altman, Jensen Huang, Elon Musk. These guys are the Einstein, the Oppenheimer, and the FDR of today's world. We're facing a very pivotal moment in history right now. Sure, the effects will play out in very different ways, but I believe it will be just as influential, if not more so. The only real difference is that it's moving 1,000, 1,000, 1,000 X faster, and the large majority of the world isn't paying close attention. Okay, so overall, I'm pretty happy with it. There's really two things I'm still trying to crack at the moment. I, I think I mentioned this earlier in the video, but if you notice the numbers aspect of it, I was trying to, you know, I wrote in the script 1 million, and it, instead it says 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. So numbers, not really sure on that. And lastly, there is kind of a common issue that Heijin does where it'll do like five seconds or so, three to five seconds at the end of the video where it is just kind of glitching. You know, like if you look at, it, it just kind of ends the video like that. So I am still working to find a solution to that. But I mean, it's great because it always happens at the end of the video so you can just chop it off, um, which is super easy if you're uploading it into IG or YouTube or whatever. So hopefully this is helpful for you. Um, you know, this is still a work in progress, but one thing to keep in mind, you know, remember copy, copy 101, you know, whether you're writing like a, a VSL, an IG reel, a TikTok script, whatever it is, the same kind of fundamentals apply, you know, like I don't really believe for organic content, you need like crazy B roll, you know, in insane editing effects. What you do need is kind of the basics, good leads, you know, like eye-catching leads. No amount of AI can make up for the fact that, uh, you know, your first five seconds of the video is really dull and boring, for example, whether that's on a VSL or a YouTube video, whatever it is. So keep that in mind. But if you're looking to do AI short form video from end to end, this process, I'm going to be using this a lot in my daily workflow going forward. And uh, hopefully you do as well. So let me know if you have any questions and thanks for checking this out.